relaxing on the beaches of the Maldives. What could saving the environment and taking a relaxing holiday have in common? This hotel, a holiday hideaway that's like no other hotel chain. These guys take the business of eco-sustainability seriously. The Banyan Tree Hotel and Resort on Vabin Faro is an eco-sensitive resort that operates its facilities with special regard for the environment. One of the resort's in-house eco projects gets everyone involved in efforts to conserve the population of two of their more interesting guests, the sea turtle and the shark. The black tip shark and reef sharks live in the water surrounding the Maldives. Even though they have a scary persona in movies and TV, people tend to overact when they see them. The stigma attached to sharks in this area is the very thing that threatens their survival. Like everything else on the planet, they're just trying to survive. There are many, many misconceptions about sharks that are surrounded in misconceptions. There's an incredible variety of diversity in the species of sharks and only a few of them are potentially dangerous. Even with those species, their myth is larger than the sharks themselves and there's really nothing to be concerned about. Strange myths and misconceptions about sharks have been around for generations. Some people seem to think that even just the smell of blood in the water will drive a shark into attack mode. They can detect blood at very, very low concentrations, um, but, but they, they can't smell it from, from sort of six miles away. There has to be blood in the water surrounding them. And in most sharks, this won't even um, stimulate any sort of feeding behaviors. But here in the Maldives, I mean, most of the sharks that people see are very young, very small sharks. And as soon as I see them, I think they suddenly lose a lot of the, the preconception. The banyan tree has its own marine laboratory, where Alexandra and her team work. The Maldives is, is incredible for its uh, diversity in shark species. And here on this island, we have two main species um, that are found regularly. Um, along our house roofs and in our lagoons we have the nurse sharks which spend most of their time out just behind the reef um, and are usually most active in the evenings um, and we have our black tip reef sharks and these are very interesting as they spend their entire life history and their life cycle in our island and around our reefs in our lagoons here. What we've done is we've actually taken a very small number of the young and we have six black tip reef sharks which we hold in a, a pen in the lagoon Every month we monitor the growth of these sharks, not only the length of them, but the length of their claspers, their weight. We monitor this very, very carefully, as we know very little about growth rates in sharks. We know very little about the age at which they reach maturity and can breed. So this data is incredibly important to us. We always ask the guests to report when they've sighted a shark um, or many other species. Um, we ask them to collect as much data on the size of the shark, the precise location of the shark, what it was doing, what depth it was at. All this data is, is invaluable to the lab. The Banyan Tree invites students from the local communities to participate in marine life studies. Students help out with monitoring the baby sharks. Our sir Shahid took the sharks for us. He gave it to Ushan and Ushan gave it to us and we make it upside down so that it falls asleep. That blood comes to the head, it seems that. And then we put that into a weight measuring thing and measure the weight and through a tape we measure the height. It's really sweet, I like that. It's really friendly. It's not harmful in my opinion. It's a nice animal. The green sea turtle is another resident here who also gets a little help from the hotel. Our turtle program has been a huge success and it always attracts a lot of attention locally and from the guests and from the international media. The turtles nest on our beaches here. What we do, we, we mark those nests, we keep them safe, we monitor the females coming ashore. Um, when the nest hatches, which is about two months after it's laid, we'll remove a very small percentage of the hatchlings, so usually around 10%, um, which we'll then take to our sea pen. They stay in the pen for 18 months. We regularly feed them. We monitor their growth every month. For four lucky turtles, they get their very own satellite transmitter, um, which will attach to their back, and we can track these turtles from the lab wherever they go in the world. 
they are always hungry. Whenever you go out to feed them, they're always hungry. Um, and we found that in the space of 18 months, our turtles will grow to the same size um, that in the wild it would take them eight, uh, 10 years to reach. Um, so they have an extremely accelerated growth right here. One of the, the main things that we run is the turtle adoption program so they can actually adopt their own um, turtle from our satellite tracking and, and tagging program. When they adopt their turtle they're, they're actually given a specific turtle. Um, we will keep them in touch should their turtle ever be sighted again. If they adopt a satellite tracked turtle um, we will actually keep them updated every time we have feedback about where exactly it is we will let them know. And in addition to this, they're actually invited um, to release their turtle if they wish to sort of coincide their holiday. Um, at that time, they can come and actually be the one that puts their turtle in the water. The tsunami that hit the Maldives damaged the sea turtles' nesting grounds. With the help of Alexander's team and the visiting hotel guests, the turtle population is coming back. We get the guests as involved as we can here, so we will take them on guided snorkels around our reefs. We have marine biology classes in the evening. They can come out with us to visit um, our turtles and our sharks. We're uh, researching at the moment. And from this, because we get the guests so involved while they're here, this is uh, long lasting. Uh, we have many guests who keep in contact with us for, for many years, who have provided us with, with huge donations to support our work here. Um, and yeah, the, the guests we keep in contact with and they'll email us every so often to ask just how it's going and how our turtles are. And if you don't feel like adopting a turtle, hotel guests can add a token donation right onto their bill. When the guests arrive at the hotel, the, every morning in fact, um, when their rooms are made, we leave them with a, a sign, either sort of a nice starfish or a leaf or a beautiful little message. Um, and they get their very own um, souvenir turtle. Um, the sign is basically informing them of the hotel's Green Imperative Fund. What this basically means is um, for every night they stay here, uh, one dollar is added onto their bill, so it's not a, a huge amount of money for the, the guests. But the hotel will then match this dollar for dollar. This fund, um, our Green Imperative Fund, goes into supporting our various conservation and research projects here. So the guests are made aware of their contribution. The banyan tree has found a nice way to combine a great ecotourism spot with a big thank you to our undersea friends for letting us explore and have fun in their environment.